Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about the best ways to treat a sudden hearing loss. Coming up. Anywhere between 37,000 and 256,000 Americans suffer from a sudden hearing loss every single year. Now, I am not talking about a sudden hearing loss caused by earwax buildup or fluid buildup. I'm talking about a sudden sensorineural hearing loss, typically caused by a head trauma, autoimmune condition, or a viral attack. When a sudden sensorineural hearing loss occurs, it typically happens in only one of your ears, and it has a very rapid onset, like the name would suggest. Now, according to numerous studies, around 50% of individuals who suffer from this type of a hearing loss will have a spontaneous recovery of their hearing within two weeks. However, recovery rates are better when treatments such as corticosteroids or hyperbaric oxygen are utilized quickly after the onset of this type of hearing loss. Unfortunately, many individuals who suffer from a sudden sensory neural hearing loss are misdiagnosed and they're often treated as if they have fluid in their middle ear when it's not fluid at all. This is why it is so important for you to have a hearing test by a licensed audiologist as quickly as you possibly can if you experience a sudden hearing loss so you can get properly diagnosed and pointed in the right direction for immediate treatment. But what are your options if you had a sudden sensory neural hearing loss and you did not get treatment quick enough or if you did get treatment quick enough, but the treatment did not work. Well, that is exactly what I'll be explaining in this video. But before I get into it, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel. And if you are not yet subscribed with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. So you get notified every single time I publish a new video. That being said, it is greatly appreciated and a huge shout out to Phonak for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. If your hearing does not recover following a sudden sensory neural hearing loss, it will typically leave you deaf in that particular ear, which can create a variety of problems, including the inability to localize the direction of sound, the loss of binaural summation, and the loss of binaural squelch, and the dreaded head shadow effect. The ability to localize which direction sound is coming from requires a timing difference between when sound hits one of your ears versus when it hits the other ear. If you have no hearing in one of your ears, there is no timing difference. So this creates a situation where your cell phone could be ringing somewhere in the house, but you have no clue where it is because you don't have the ability to localize sound anymore. Binaural summation is your brain's ability to hear sound louder when it is heard by both of your ears at the same time. So if you lose hearing in one of your ears, the perception of volume in the opposite ear drops down as well. Binaural squelch is when you're in a noisy environment and you're talking to somebody, your brain can identify which one of your ears actually hears their voice better and your brain will focus in on that particular ear. Obviously, if you only have one functioning ear, your brain does not get to choose. It is forced to hear that speech in the only remaining hearing ear. And the head shadow effect occurs when sound has to travel around your head from the bad side into your better hearing ear. But when it does this, it actually drops the volume by eight additional decibels, which is the difference between you understanding someone who's standing on your bad side and not hearing them at all. Now, you do have several options when it comes to treating single-sided deafness caused by sudden sensory neural hearing loss. First, you could do nothing at all. You could essentially just rely on your better hearing ear, realizing that you're going to be missing sounds on your bad side and always having to turn your better ear to face someone that you're speaking to. Obviously, this is not a very good option because it doesn't correct any of the problems associated with this type of a hearing loss. Second would be to get a cochlear implant. A sudden sensory neural hearing loss typically damages all of the structures inside of the cochlea, but leaves the auditory nerve completely intact. Because of this, you could take a cochlear implant and have that electrode array installed inside of your cochlea and stimulate the nerve directly with electrical impulses. While this option is the most invasive, it could restore some of the hearing in your deaf ear, which would help with localization, binaural squelch, binaural summation, and the head shadow effect. Third, you have another surgical option called a bone anchored hearing aid. To utilize a bone anchored hearing aid, a surgeon will typically have to install an abutment into to your skull on your bad side. This is usually in the form of a titanium post or a magnet that is underneath your scalp. This will allow you to attach a bone anchored hearing aid that will pick up sound and then vibrate your skull using a bone oscillator so that vibration of sound can be picked up by your better hearing ear. While this will not allow you to localize which direction sound is coming from or perform binaural summation or binaural
mineral squelch, it will overcome the head shadow effect. There can be slight limitations to this particular type of treatment if you also have a hearing loss in your better hearing ear though. Now the fourth and perhaps the easiest way to treat a case of single-sided deafness caused by a sudden sensory neural hearing loss is to use a cross transmitter like the Lumity Cross R from Phonak, today's video sponsor. Using a cross transmitter like this one in your bad ear can pick up sound on your bad side and transfer it wirelessly to a hearing aid that is on your better side. This way you get to overcome the head shadow effect without having to undergo a surgery. Not only is it minimally invasive, but it is perhaps the quickest way to actually treat a case of single-sided deafness effectively. Now remember the limitation that I just mentioned about a bone anchored hearing aid and if you have a hearing loss in your better hearing ear, it doesn't work as effectively? Well, this is not an issue when you're using a cross transmitter because if you have a hearing loss in your better hearing ear as well, when you're transferring that sound over into the hearing aid in your better ear, you can also amplify it, and we call this bicross. So just to make it easy, the rule of thumb here is that if you have one deaf ear with a cross transmitter in it, and you're sending that sound into your better hearing ear that has no hearing loss, we call that cross. If we're doing the same thing and transferring that sound over to an ear that also has hearing loss, we call that bicross. Just keep in mind that the cross transmitter that you use is only as effective as the hearing aid that you pair it with because the hearing aid is the one doing a lot of the processing. The Phonak Lumity Cross Rechargeable Transmitter is compatible with all of the Phonak Audeo Lumity, Naida Lumity, and Sky Lumity hearing aids, which are some of the best hearing aids currently available on the market. The Lumity platform is Phonak's best yet due to the key additions of AutoSense OS 5.0, StereoZoom 2.0, and the speech sensor feature. Not to mention, you get universal Bluetooth connectivity using Bluetooth Classic, so you can pair your Lumity hearing aid up with pretty much any wireless device out there, including smartphones, dumb phones, laptops, tablets, and even desktops. You also get access to all of Phonak's great accessories, including all of the Roger microphones and the partner microphone, so you can hear better in a background noise situation, as as well as getting better clarity on your TV if you use the TV connector to stream the audio from your TV directly into your better hearing ear. And don't worry, even with Cross, you get full compatibility with the MyPhoneAc app, so you can go in and make adjustments to your own devices or have a remote care session with your hearing care professional from the comfort of your own home. And if you're into colorful hearing aid options, the Lumity Cross R transmitter does come in the new precious pink, electric green, and Caribbean pirate colors. If you would like to check out my full detailed reviews of the Phonak Lumity lineup of hearing aids as well as the Lumity Cross R transmitter. I will have both of those videos linked in the description. That being said, the important thing about treating single-sided deafness caused by a sudden sensory neural hearing loss is that you actually do something. If two months have passed and you have not experienced a recovery in your hearing in the affected ear, I'm sorry to say that hearing is not coming back and you need to start considering your treatment options. Given the medical nature of this particular type of hearing loss, I would highly recommend that you have a conversation with your audiologist to determine the pros and cons of each of these different types of treatments to determine which one is right for you. Being deaf in one of your ears does not have to significantly impact your life if you don't want it to. I know it can feel a lot like losing a family member when you lose all of the hearing in one of your ears almost instantly. And you're going to have to go through the seven stages of grief, starting off with shock and denial, but eventually getting yourself to acceptance and hope. Now, I don't know where you are in these different stages, but take your time. Eventually, you will get there. And when you do and you're ready to move on with your life, get your hearing loss treated as soon as humanly possible so your ability to communicate doesn't suffer.